Sex. It's something that most people are uncomfortable talking about, right? But sex is an important part of being human, not just in our romantic relationships, but in the relationship with ourselves as well. Understanding our sexual needs and desires can help us understand ourselves better and better connect with our partners if we're willing to share our needs with them. But some of us struggle with our sexual needs. Some people might actively try to push away their sexual nature to avoid it. And suppressing our sexual needs can lead to some difficulties within ourselves and in our relationships. Are you struggling with connecting to your own sexual side? Here are five signs that you may be suppressing your sexual needs. Number one, you find it difficult to understand sexual boundaries. Sex is a very intimate act, but it's still one that requires boundaries. You need to be able to communicate with your partner what you're okay with and what you're not. If you're suppressing your sexual needs, you might find it difficult to communicate what you need, or you might find it difficult to object when you don't like what someone's doing. Similarly, your partner needs to be able to communicate that with you too, and trust that you'll respect their boundaries. Suppressing your sexual needs may make it difficult to understand where the boundary line is. There has been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we are so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Join our mission and help us share our video. Thanks for being a part of our journey. Number two, you're afraid of what others might think of your desires. You might find it difficult to communicate with partners about your sexual needs because you're afraid of what they'll think of you if they hear your desires. This might be true even if your sexual needs aren't too extreme. Or maybe you're afraid that voicing your needs will hurt your partner or their ego. It's okay to be nervous when you're opening up to your partner about your desires. But remember, if you're in a safe, consensual relationship, your partner should want to hear what you need to feel sexually satisfied. And they should want to help if they can. Number three, you often feel frustrated or tense. An important part of sexual urges is also a release. This might be an orgasm, or it could just be a connection to yourself and your partner. But suppressing or attempting to ignore our sexual needs can lead to us feeling irritated, frustrated, or even tense, as we don't get the release that we need. Having an orgasm releases lots of happy chemicals, such as dopamine and oxytocin. Suppressing your sexual needs and not being able to have that release may lead to feelings of physical tension or emotional frustration. Number four, you feel confused about your body, mind, and desires. Suppressing your sexual needs can also make it hard to understand your desires. You might find your body responding to sexual stimuli while your mind feels negatively or disgusted by anything remotely sexual. Or you may take on the sexual needs and desires of your partner but not explore your own. These difficulties can lead you feeling confused about your sexual nature and desires. This is why it can be important to explore our sexual desires in a safe environment. Number five, your sexual desires can feel more urgent and don't go away. Trying to suppress something doesn't always make it go away. Sometimes it makes things worse, or in trying to suppress your sexual needs, you might actively try to avoid sexual thoughts too, and forcing yourself to not think of something usually just makes you think a bit more. So, in your efforts to force your sexual needs and thoughts away, you might be doing just the opposite. When we suppress our sexual needs, we're essentially trying to deny a part of ourselves that we think might be bad or shameful, or come from feelings of guilt. This may come from religious beliefs or more conservative households. Our sexual needs are neither bad nor shameful, and in exploring and addressing our own sexual needs, we can improve our sex lives, especially if we're willing to open up to our partners about them, when we're comfortable with it, of course. But remember, you're not alone when it comes to having sexual needs and desires. And having them doesn't make you strange or wrong. It's just another part of being human. Can you relate to any of this? If so, share with us in the comments if you're comfortable. The references and studies used are listed in the description below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. Thanks for learning and growing with us, and see you in the next video.